So in this video, we are going to create bouncy ball animation which you are able to see in your screen now. So this is the animation which we are going to create today. This is actually with the balls or we can say they are just moving and we are going to just learn how are how is it moving? How is this possible? We are going to just learn it. So go to code.org and create a new game lab project. So first of all what we are doing is we are creating ball. We are creating a new sprite that is ball. So we are creating a new variable that is ball. One first ball and uh, it would be in the place that is 150 150 and 20 20 these are actually the x coordinate y coordinate and the rest these you see this is the x coordinate what is the x coordinate means it moves here this position this position like this position is the x coordinate and what is the y coordinate y coordinate is this that is position this here is uh, just see this standing position and the see the, uh, the x coordinate is the sleeping position in simple terms if I say and the y coordinate is the y coordinate is the straight line standing line and these two are to help us making length and breadth of the rectangle. If you run it, it will not run because we have to first draw the sprites. If you run, you can see that. Now what if I do it to 50? So it means that, what is it? This is the breadth. Isn't it? This is the breadth of the rectangle and this is the length of the rectangle and I hope you are already clear what, what is length and breadth. Breadth is actually the width of the rectangle, the width of the sprite, width and the length is actually the height of the sprite. So if I increase it by 100, We can see that its height increases. So, in short, the first one is the x coordinate, which is just nothing but the sleeping line, and the second one is the standing line. Third one is the width of the rectangle of the sprite, and the fourth one is the height of the sprite. I hope that is pretty clear. So, like this, we need to create three more balls. So, we can just copy paste. And do the necessary changes like ball number. This is two. Just rename it ball number three and ball number four. Now position time. So now, like I, this ball is this. Why the screen? When we run, actually I want that the second ball should be just at a hundred space. So what we can do is I can give the space as 200, 250. Now where it would be exactly here. Now the next sprite I can give space as 150 like the same or this is. I mean the same in this height. I mean the same at this level but it will be down or downwards to hold the majority is pretty here. Now if we just hover over it we get an idea like I want to make it suppose at, at 150 would be exactly somewhat here. 150 would be somewhat exactly here. And if I run it here yes, that's correct. So the X position you can just take the X position also and now the Y also Y like 
where is plant 50 so here it would be created 150 is correct ok now I will go to 150 so yes this is the exact position where my first ball would be created and then the second I want just a hundred space after so 250 right now the next ball I want is would be 250 so like this we can just have an estimate of how could be created and then the next ball we can create is 250 and 250 yes so the balls are successfully created but the color is I want to give different different colors so I'm going to sprite section and I am searching for shape color So sprite or shape color. So ball one the shape color of ball one should be if orange then the second ball shape color should be Suppose green and the third ball shape color should be Suppose red and the fourth ball shape color should be Black. Let's run it. Now see the balls the shape are successfully created. Now we will come towards a new term that is velocity. That the velocity of ball 1 should be minus 5. What does it mean? That means that it moves towards the minus 5. The, this position it moves towards left. If there is minus, then it means it will move towards left, and if it is plus, then it will move towards right. So, but it is leaving the shadows when it's moving. So, we need to give a background color. We need to give background color as white. We need to give other colors. So now we can just see that it's just moving, isn't it? And without moving any shadows. Now I will give that ball dot velocity by y means I have already explained you it just to you right now. That ball dot velocity by means it moves towards the standing line. So I want it to move towards. I want it to move towards which position or what? The same I'm going to do for everything, and the same I'm going to do for every sprite. First, let us just make it, and then afterwards, we'll give them the values. Now let's give them the values. Now if you have noticed that we have done a very 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 big mistake that we are setting velocity. We are not setting that is why it was actually just going over and moving in front of us. So the mistake is there is that it should be ball or velocity by is equal to minus 6. Now if I run it I can see that it's moving towards 
X position and towards right position also, but in left position because I have given the minus. So th wasn't that interesting? So we done had done a mistake, and for that we will have lose a much time, our precious time. We could say because we all are very precious. Now let's just now if now I'm going to give the ball to it minus 5 but it should move in the right position right because it is here so I wanted to yes yeah, so we will just take it later because we have to first fill in it all the parameters so here I will give minus 5 6 and here simply 5 and 6 and I have explained to the reason like how am I giving it So when I run it, I think it's glitchy. I need to reload it. And when I run, so we can see that it's moving, is it? The velocity means it moves in that particular position in which we set it. But it just goes out, and but I want that it should again bounce off and come here. I want it to come back. So for that. I am going to do that, that when I scroll in the sprite section, bound that in the function that it should do forever. So the ball one should bounce off from the edges. Same for the rest of the three balls and then we are going to see what happens. So, well, if I run, it's just going to overlap and I need to change between rights or group. It's not happening because first we have to create the edge, edge. We have to first create these rights, edge, then only it could happen. So, alright, so first we have to create these rights, edge, edge. Now we can see that it's moving and the bouncing ball animation is coming. So I hope you have understood what have we exactly done.